there is no room whatsoever for violence. Wherever a person is fingered and found to have participated in a violent incident, responsible for it, that person is going to be automatically disqualified because violence is not in the DNA of the Triple C. Violence is a Zanfir culture. We will not tolerate any violence. After the vetting process is uh, complete, we're also going to have a process where stakeholders, key stakeholders in various communities, are also going to be consulted and have an opportunity to make their voice heard and make representations on who they would like uh, to represent them and any comments they may have on those who've been nominated. Uh, thereafter, the, the very important community consensus building part uh, of the panel starts where there'll be citizen caucuses, where citizens will come together, be told there's X candidate, there's Y candidate, who do we prefer and why. They'll have an opportunity to also make their case, deliver a very brief manifesto of what they plan to deliver in their ward or in their constituency, and also to take questions from the community concerning their eligi eligibility uh, to run. Obviously, as has been highlighted, the, the template looks at factors such as integrity, ties and service to a community, commitment uh, to the cause, any expertise, any special skills one has, obviously taking into account the need to ensure that we comply with the Constitution on matters such as uh, disability inclusion and gender parity. So at the end of the day, what we're going to deliver uh, is a citizen's dream team that incorporates every citizen, every represented group, every special interest group in Zimbabwe. We obviously expect to be able to put our best foot forward in the coming election. Uh, the process is going to be expeditious. We've got timelines that uh, have been set for the independent panel, and hopefully those processes will be completed soon so that we're in time for nomination and in time, obviously, for uh, the last uh, get out the vote.